Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live, and we're going to be getting into some a couple of things, just some updates I wanted to cover with you, uh, happening everything from Israel, uh, Lebanon, all the way over to North Korea. Uh, but I first wanted to share with you, we're doing a series on our Patreon channel. That's patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live called Planet X Series. Uh, this first one is climatic changes, hurricanes, and typhoons, and I think you'll find it very interesting. Looking at all the different uh, ancient documentation that talks about how this has happened before, what things precede this, even what some scientists are saying, and then going into some of those changing obvious facts that should tell us that something's in the neighborhood. So I think you will really enjoy looking at those series that we'll be doing over the next few weeks here. We'll be dealing this week, we did climate. Next week, we'll be dealing with uh, the issues on underwater volcanoes. Then we'll be getting into the tsunamis. We'll be getting into the earthquakes, all the different climatic changes that are happening on the earth that are telltale signs that Planet X is in the neighborhood. Uh, let's get right into the situations going. UN experts accuse Israel of deliberate attacks on Gaza's health care infrastructure, according to the Washington Examiner. And uh, we have here on BBC, UN accuses Israel of war crimes over attacks on Gaza's hospitals. United Nations Commission of an Inquiry has accused Israel of carrying out a co concerted policy to destroy Gaza's health care systems during its ongoing war with Hamas. The commission said Israeli attacks on Gaza's health care facilities and Israel's treatment of Palestinian detainees amounted to war crimes as well as the crime against humanity of extermination. We've said it over and over and over. But don't forget, Israel will tell you, I guess all you guys forgot about what happened on October the 7th. And don't you know that Hamas is hiding in terror tunnels underneath it? Well, they have to stage some videos to make it look like something like that. And of course, Israelis themselves tell you that something was amiss when it comes to October the 7th, as we clearly played here. In fact, our recent video where we thought it looked like Israel was fixing to hit around because of some of the videos coming out there, we shared with you an Israeli, a former IDF soldier Israeli, coming out, blasting Israel for their false narrative about this October the 7th. Clearly an inside job, as he pointed out, as well as Rabbi Mitzrahi. So, no wonder why they're being accused of war crimes. And also, another situation, thank you, Charles, for sharing this with me here. As we mentioned to you, uh, our inside intel that told us about uh, uh, Hussein on... Al Arabia TV two days before Nasrallah was killed that Iran had sold out some of the highest ranking officials so that Israel could strike and kill them. Here again, another one. An Israeli airstrike has reportedly targeted senior Hezbollah member Wafik Safa in Beirut. Safa was sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury in 2019. Just amazing how Israel has such great intel, right? right from someone in Iran as they prepare for an, a strike on Iran. All a bunch of show and mirrors for everyone for consumption. Make it look like a great biblical prophecy being fulfilled. I'm sure the world will appreciate you all the more. Can't wait. I am working very diligently on the book that I'm writing. I haven't even given it a title yet, but this is one book that will certainly blast right out of the water the false prophecies that have been predicted through false theology by clearly translating the word of God correctly. Mm. Two killed after rockets fired by Hezbollah hit Karat Shimona in northern Israel. And again, Chadashot Israel, which is Israeli news reporting on this right here. Any life matters whether it's Israeli or Palestinian or uh, Lebanese, that matters. So it's very sad to see that two Israelis were killed in this particular rocket attack here. All life does matter. Also, in the closing here, I want to share with you, thank you, Nick, for sharing this with me here. 
Um, this here, North Korea slams the U.S. deployment of nuclear assets in South Korea. Now, no doubt the U.S. is deploying those because of China and Taiwan. North Korea's Vice Defense Minister blasts U.S. for reckless military bluff after deploying a nuclear sub and a B-1B bomber to South Korea. Pyongyang vows new measures to counter what it calls a strategic disadvantage for the U.S. on the peninsula. Well, you know, I kind of find that a little awkward that Kim Jong-un's people would think that. I mean, let's face it. He already has nuclear weapons himself. What would be the difference if South Korea were to have American nuclear weapons? That actually kind of balances the scales. Although I don't agree with the use of nuclear weapons in the first place, but it is kind of ignorant for Pyongyang to vow measures to counter. What are, you, what are you going to counter? You've already got more nuclear bombs there than America has in South Korea in the first place. Just doesn't make a lot of sense. By the way, let's go into one other issue there. Got to share with you on our uh, Israeli News Live YouTube here. You got to definitely see this video. Uh, we just got permission. as long waited to come out there. EMP Shield, America's Innovation at its best. It's got 2,500 views, but listen, the important thing about this video right here is it goes into the science behind the making of this. We actually, uh, this is uh, Mr. Keegan, who is the president of the company. Uh, we got to learn a lot about the manufacturing process. We visited the company ourselves personally. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Donov, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I apologize if I said that wrong there. My wife interviewed him. Uh, amazing uh, man right here. Let me just play a little clip for you here. The critical infrastructure are interrelated and everything goes back to the electricity. You know, we are touring this facility today and we are very impressed because this EMP shield product uh, that you're offering is an excellent surge protector. There is no better, as I could see here. But can you tell us about the EMP aspect of it a little bit more? Uh, when a nuclear pump is detonated above 25-30 miles altitude, then the everything called the phenomena that uh, are initiated with uh, uh, gamma rays, uh, producing Compton electrons, which uh, rotating or moving into the magnetic fields of the Earth, um, they generate this massive electromagnetic wave, which basically is a radiated wave, which induces currents or voltage into the long uh, distribution and transmission electrical lines. And after that, uh, the main problem is the EU1, or the first phase of the pulse, which is, uh, according to the standards and from what we know from the test in late 50s and theoretical studies, are about 2.3 nanoseconds this time, with an intensity at the ground level uh, somewhere 50 kilovolts per meter of intensity and after that the duration of U1 is about 23-25 nanoseconds but this is followed by pulse that is very similar to duration characteristic like the lightning strike which is E2 I'll, I'll pause it right there it's a lot of in-depth information but listen you definitely you want to get an EMP shield, right? Definitely want to get one. So go to empshield.com, use a coupon code INL50, just like you see on the screen right now. You save $50. They also help support our work when you purchase any products from them. And by the way, that INL50 code, it works, if I, if I remember correctly, on every single purchase you make. Uh, I have it on my cars and also for the house. Uh, so listen, and you can do them for your uh, ham radio, and oddly enough, believe it or not, ham radio really does need an EMP shield separately from the house. Totally different situation. 
you learn about that actually in that video. I'll put the link in the description below for you so you can check it out. But believe me, you'll learn a lot from there. And if you really want to know how this works, how the company works, made in America, uh, get rid of all the naysayers. If the naysayers are out there, you should have listened to the video. Then you'd learn more about it. That's actually why we went to the company. We got tired of listening to people say, uh, this is wrong, that's wrong. Let's go find out for ourselves. And the company was willing to let us even talk to their top scientist. So it was really very eye-opening. Anyway, thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon. Don't forget, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. I'll put the link in the description below there. Our, pay, our Planet X series, those climatic changes that tell you something is nearing. God bless you.